Good evening, good afternoon and good morning. This is Johnny V coming at you with another video. Today I'm bringing you the ultimate Matchbox 60D and 58F Ute Muster. Another episode in the collection of Johnny V. I'll give you a broad overview with the drone so you can see where the, the cars are all displayed and the variety of these utes that I do have. Okay, we should start with the uh, the standard 60D uh, in burgundy pearl. As you can see, these guys are pretty well mint. Uh, with most of this particular collection of mine, I've got them pretty much in mint the whole way through. Um, they're such beautiful cars, and uh, everybody knows KC included, George included. Um, even some of the other chaps up north, they know that the Holden is uh, is my prize car, and uh, I love working with these, even as um, customs as well. These particular three, the that one there was as is. There was never ever a sticker on that one uh, when I bought it. It was in the box new. So that one's quite an unusual one to just see like that. This particular one came with the red bikes, which is also another variant. And the one with the yellow bikes is the standard issue for that car. Now we step down to the next layer and we have the same ute, but in uh, base red with the 500 sticker on the two outer ones, they're identical cars, they're both mint condition. But the one in the center is, a, is the Sunburst version with olive bikes. It, um, it was an interesting one because normally that Sunburst issue has red interior and I've done some work on finding it uh, and Christian Falkensteiner is my reference for these guys and he said that uh, generally it's just the red one but this hasn't been altered this is as is out of the factory no changes to it yellow interior and red body two little tiny chips there but nothing is different from it apart from the fact that it's got the sunburst sticker on it so unless somebody's playing games with me um, I've pretty much authenticated that as a real real deal And the cream versions, or they might appear white on the video, but they are actually cream in colour, these utes. Uh, with the Superbike logo on the side. Red bikes, red interior. Yeah, Matchbox Superfast, number 60, Holden pickup, made in Lesley. Le made in Lesney. Made in England by Lesney in 1977 copyright mark. These uh, are all in really neat condition as well. This guy here is the rarer version that I have. It's the super bike. It's all original. With yellow bikes on it but it has a tan interior and that one's extremely hard to come by. Um, almost to the point where I'd say it's on the rare end of the market. Um, so we hope to find the next one along the line in that list and that's the one with the Honda emblem down the side here which I haven't got in my collection yet I'm still hunting around for that one now we step over to the rough trek era of uh, of the Utes which is the 58F these two are probably some of my favorite ones in the collection as well I mean they all all are part of my collection as favorite pieces but um, certain ones stick out quite a lot and these two yellow ones um, are hard to come by in any condition and uh, 
They're just stunning looking trucks. They really are. The colours work really well with them. They've got clear windscreens instead of that horrible orange. Um, but uh, these are really good. And they're two different uh, productions. The This one's from Macau. If we can get that to come up for you. There we are, Macau. Same, same copyright time, 1977. And this particular one, because in the in better light, this is actually uh, it's made in Thailand, and it's a lot a lot fairer in colour. And this one also, um, had, if you can see in the ceiling of the car there, it hasn't had the uh, the rivet tampered over to hold the windscreen in. So technically, I'd say this is a factory error. So. And I have the boxes for these. These came in basic um, Holden boxes, uh, which I can show you now. So this is uh, this is an original box. It's not from these cars. I've actually put them over. I just grabbed one out of the cabinet. Um, but that's the style for those. But these also came in this one, which was um, quite amazing because normally they would be on a a yellow box with a window in it and um, when I bought these they were in one of these types of boxes so uh, again something different uh, stepping over to the racing series of um, Rough Trek Utes I have the four convoy sets there uh, this particular one I got the decals from PB up at PB Restorations uh, retro restoration, sorry Peter, um, to, to do another version of this. This one is an original one that I did have, but I have got the decals now to do the Kenworth truck and the uh, Chevy Pro Stocker that goes with that set, so I can, can actually now complete a set with that one. This STP one, I do have the complete set for. I'll show you that one shortly. Um, these are really nice looking cars too. And again, all original, all mint. And then the seven up, the same. And finally the Fabergé Racing, Brute 33, good old deodorant that everybody used to wear back in the day. Where would you be without Brute 33? was the old ad saying. So there you go. I'll now go and grab the, um, the boxes for the couple that I do have for the sets and I'll show you those too. All right, this is the uh, Matchbox Racing Team and it's actually got the 217 on the box uh, or on the card there at the back. So that's what that one will eventually look like. Uh, all you need in this vehicle is the racetrack. Yes, true that. But this is the STP one. It comes with a, um, a sprint car of sorts and then the race transporter. Um, obviously these are still on their blister. Um, and on the back there you go, you can see the, uh, if I can get it to shine without the light too heavy on it. We've got three car race sets, race teams that can't be beat. You know, support van, Chevy van, Chevy Pro Stocker and the Pepsi and truck transporter. Then you've got the Rough Trek with the 217 set and the Chevy Pro Stocker. And then you've got the um, Son of a Gun set, which is uh, one I haven't seen around at all. Firebird support van, four wheel drive version and the Kenworth Traveller and then Again, the STP set. Okay, and then we have Mr. Seven Up in the old style box. Lemon and Lime, natural flavoring, Seven Up Company, with the Chevy Pro Stocker on the back and the truck. Team Matchbox number five. Eighty-four 
copyright. So that's these guys. Now we step down to the standard Rough Trek issue that came out as general uh, cars in the range. Um, these two here, they're both uh, identical. That one's a little worse for wear. He's got some marks and chips all over his roof and mark on the decal and a few scratches. I think this one has obviously been played with, but it was in a batch lot of uh, cars that came in box as I bought them for my collection over a period of time. So that's those guys. But this one is in mint and I do have the box for that one as well. That's a nice looking truck. And then uh, in that range I have this one as well, which is the one that was used in the James Bond set. Was, um, was never in the movie, but um, they did have a, a pickup in the in the movie, and this is supposed to represent that. I'll show you the box that that one came in. And there we go, the James Bond License to Kill set with the Prime Mover petrol tanker, a uh, Cessna airplane, the helicopter that gets shot out of the sky when he goes past, and then a tank, fuel tanker that he was chasing down the road there. And some more movie scenes from the back. And I'm assuming that's meant to be the, uh, the ute, but that certainly wasn't, the, uh, wasn't a Holden. There's the copyright information for those that are interested in that. And license to kill James Bond. So that's that, that little guy there. He's uh, a nice tidy little ute. Okay, next we have uh, the Rough Trek in STP sticker on the door in blue, red and white. This is a, uh, a Japanese issue and was only ever released in Japan. Uh, it did make it out onto the world market but um, these, there's a few of these on eBay at the moment and they're running up in the hundreds. Um, I was very fortunate when I found this, the guy had, had a, uh, a bulk order in that he was moving pretty quickly. And these do come in a, a standard window box, which is what most of the Rough Treks do come in. But this one has actually got all the uh, the Japanese print on it. So, and there's all the range in Japanese. So this was a, a good little score to get. I was very happy with this one. And even though I don't really connect, collect the boxes, when I get them in this kind of condition, um, yeah, they're definitely worth having. And this was made in Macau as well. So there we go. So that's that bloke there. He's, uh, he's got the, the soft tint window, red interior, red bull bar, spotlights and uh, really cool. Now next to him was his mate which I scored and it was um, one of those scores I was a little dubious about but it is real and uh, it is that one. I checked it over with the Christian Falkensteiner's listing. Uh, Everything is in the right place for it. There is a tiny little Marlboro sign above the STP. There's Marlboro on the bonnet and it's on both sides. It was released this way and they were as a prototype and then I think marketing for cigarettes was canned on Matchbox. So there's only a few of these out there. Uh, I've managed to score one. Uh, it was a, it was a hard fought fight to get it, but I have got it. And um, that's that bloke there. It's, uh, it's quite the gem. It's identical to this bloke, except the, uh, the way the, the stickers are rearranged. 
or the tampos in this case. So um, another another oddity to have in the Holden collections. There are others out there that I'd really love to get, but um, some of the prices on those are just ridiculous. Next in the list is the uh, the high rises or the mud busters or bog buster in this case. Um, the big boys with the big wheels. These are an unusual variety of this ute. They really are something to look at um, with their high rise wheel factor and the big blowing motor out the bonnet. And they don't have a payload on the back like the other versions do. But these are two different ones. One's made in Macau and one's made in Thailand, so they were different issues. And uh, they also have different tyres on them. One's got um, paddle wheel style and the other one's got heavy duty tractor style. They also have two different coloured interiors. One's got a, an orange yellow and the other one's got a bright yellow. Uh, these, these are also a rare version of this. These guys, or rarer, I should say, they're not rare. This is rare enough. Um, with actually fluoro orange and or fluoro yellow tyres on them and they came out in a range back in the mid 80s so yeah that's Bogbuster okay next we have these two fancy critters here um, what can be said about these except that they're um, truly a hard one to find they are actually from a play set that was uh, released in Japan and the uh, game was based on the Gaslands era or futuristic period of time and there was a, uh, a reclamation bin area where these things would fight and that's where you'd have to sit out time. It was a game board idea. I, uh, I would dearly love to find the rest of it, but these are the only two I can find of this specific game. And these two guys are called Turbo Force. Um, specifically, these, this one, because uh, he has all these battlements on him. Um, I'll move him around so you can see him a bit better. He's got um, a different payload on him than the other ones have, like it's, you know, containment and nuclear power or whatever else it's got armoring around the windows and around the body and then it's got the claw that actually opens and closes to uh, capture your victims and bring them back to the reclamation area so there we have it turbo force and this particular one is called let me just go and get the information board oh <coughs> sorry This one is called, oh, where are we? There we are, Car Power. It's kind of a weird name for a car, but uh, that's what it's called, Car Power. And it picks up and crushes stuff. The rest of the guys in the set, there is Road Raider, Barrel Bomber, Street Eater, and that's the tur Turbo Force team. And then you go down to the Motor Barons and we have Backstabber, Rampager, Parasite and Stick Up Pickup. And uh, that's the box that would have been, Turbo Force. And uh, we go back then, that's the, uh, the cover board. And this is Card Unpunched. So she's pretty special. And that's these guys there. That, that's the, uh, the one that came in that particular set that I just showed you. So he's all mint from that one. And this one came in a box, like some of the others do. They just come in a standard box, so they're released in the factory, just as that color. And uh, to find that one again, yeah, it was amazingly hard to find. 
but they come out when you find them on the marketplace you've got to search hard that's half the fun in my collection is the searching for them and finding the rarest ones I can find to uh, put together alrighty that's turbo force now the gem in the collection we have Paris Dakar Rally in blue with, with orange, um, sorry, yellow bikes. This is absolutely mint, mint, mint. Absolutely mint, mint. And this also was found in the standard box. Uh, my wife was um, trying to find me a present for a few years ago for my 60th birthday and uh, she didn't know what I wanted and I just said, oh, if you ever come across a Paris Dakar, you grab it. Well, needless to say, she went online and she did some research herself, and this one came up on auction, and uh, I'd seen it, had it in my watch list, but I wasn't going to bid on it because I was surprised at the price it was. And uh, lo and behold, she ended up buying it. Now, this particular one, it's the the world release, or it's been circulated through the world release by accident because. These were mainly set up for the Paris market and they would have been in a flat box blister, uh, like a flat plate underneath with a blister over the top of them, like that. And uh, they came in a series. There was a ambulance, a police, Land Rover, and I think a fire rescue vehicle, all with the Paris Dakar color uh, decal on them and information concerning them and they were only released for obviously the 81 year uh, Paris Dakar. So yeah that's that bloke and he uh, he's yeah my ultimate favorite in this whole set I mean as much as they are all wonderful vehicles this one I really do love the most and the fact that she uh, she bought it for me so kudos to the missus. And finally the uh, the Utes as they were and uh, with my my handiwork on them these guys you'll have seen a couple of them especially that guy I did for um, the Lee's Lee commemoration pickup tow truck um, video back in uh, when he did his anniversary build um, this was one of those Utes uh, with all my custom work done to it the jeweled headlights in it wheel change full reconstructed tail end, jib, and everything else done to that. So that's that particular one. You would have seen that on the video. I'd do a link, but I don't know how to do that. Uh, this is old blue, um, turned into an Australian one-tonner, modified chassis all, all done correctly, using the U chassis, and that's, uh, that's blue. And that's a base model there. That's without any decals on it. No bikes, they're obviously missing. But this guy's in pretty good nick as is, but he's also destined to be uh, customized into something else one day. Um, they're quite a nice little car on their own right. This is one done as a farm truck. Mud splashes up the side. Blue, uh, red bike on the back, sorry. Blue. Um, and the uh, race stripes up through the bonnet. So yeah, he's, he's just a, a mild custom that I did probably in my earlier days of playing around with these things. And I did a, uh, a version with wheel swap, put some uh, stripes down the side, made it for Caltex fuel, put a ton of cover on it, tailgate on the back, and just a straight up neat looking ute. And then the full custom rough track, flames, wheel swap. It's got iridescent black paint on it, black tinted windows. And that's basically that guy. This, uh, in actual fact, was one of these in very poor condition. Um, when I was actually searching up for these guys, this one turned up and then uh, it was too badly damaged to recreate all of that. And the windscreen had a big crack in it, so I um, 
super glued the windscreen all up, buffed it all out, and uh, because of the dark tint, you can really can't pick it. Well, you can if you really look hard. There's a little divot there, but generally that's pretty good. Uh, modified the push bar in the front and put the flames on it and that sparkle when this is out in the light true light it just it, yeah it's amazing so that's just uh, another one of my little pieces all right i'll finish this video it's gone on quite long enough but um i just want to thank you all for watching my stuff again um i'll give you the uh potential hover shot of all the vehicles over the diorama base as a drone would fly in and uh, thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and those that wish to subscribe please do so following the link at the bottom there by hitting the subscribe button and the bell to be notified for further builds and videos and we hope that you guys are all doing well and I will hopefully have another video out sometime in June so all that I'd like to say thank you guys Take care, this is Johnny V saying goodbye, bye bye.